hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is from shark clips girlfriend has meltdown after boyfriend cancels her flights okay let's check out the video Hey, what's going on, guys? Shack Clips here once again, and today some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. And like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end. But in this first one, it is absolutely horrible. This woman is having a meltdown on her husband. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure why she's like this, but to be honest, there is no reason to it be like this. Me, Whatever her excuse is, is just not right. You're acting like a complete child, especially when your man is holding a child. And in front of the mall and in front of everyone, this guy is dealing with a lot, and I would definitely think about divorce. Get the first girl, please. Mr. Avery, no disrespect, but it's first woman. First woman? First girl. Oh, for I'm so yeah, sorry. No first, first woman. Okay, <laughs> let's get it right. Wish your girl Nina rated, and I am the MILF. The cougar of YouTube. Who popping? Oh, you didn't see the bank account or the cootie cat. Oh, you don't see the head eye game I got. Oh, shit. Oh, I cook, I clean, I swallow. We do not care. Pop one more goddamn balloon and uh -huh. see what happens. You're gonna go. It don't matter. It don't. Ass, you broke ass. Uh -uh. I can tell you that. And hold on. Not only is he broke, not only. I need a diamond tester. I need a diamond tester for that. Okay, so peep game. We have one, two, three, four, five balloons. Now the ball is in your court. Whoever you don't like, go ahead and pop. Okay. Oh, you knew I was coming for you. <laughs> Why are we making I'm gonna keep these three. Okay, so out of these three, who you want? You know, this one look like Roman Reigns. <laughs> I want to wrestle with you. He do look like Roman Reigns cousin. Why you hating? Get your braids done and your dress, whatever you call them things. Shit logs don't count, okay? Get that shit right. But yeah, um, okay, wait, wait. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Don't, what? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You mad. Why you so mad? You got some. It's going to be a no for me, dog. Keep it up, though. Now, to be honest, guys, I'm not sure why this woman is even on this show. She's just trying to cause attention to herself, trying to be funny, and is not taking this seriously. But to be honest, it is a popping balloon show. I don't think it should be serious. If she wants to go ahead and try messing around even more, even at her old age, then yeah, go for it. But if you expect that she's going to find a real husband on this show, I doubt it. These girls were bragging about cutting the line at Six Flags. The park staff noticed them, but decided to wait until they got to the front, giving them a glimpse of hope they were getting through. Then as punishment, they kicked them out right at the front, making the entire line happy. Yeah, karma is definitely sweet. And I'm not sure who's comparing her to Cardi B, but I don't see the resemblance. What's wrong with the ring? I don't want it. If you ask it's me, real. If you, it came from K Jewelers. You get out the car. I'm if you didn't know what ungrateful look like, you just seen a clip. I, I worked hard. I don't want I worked the hard ring, to afford this. Pictures. I sent you the link. What else do I have to do? I mean, I told you the ring that I wanted. I don't want that. I thought when somebody proposed to you, it's a gift. So therefore, it's something they pick. What if this is all he can afford? You ain't gonna give him no credit for that? The real ring from I don't from care Kager. if it's real. Look at but, it. It's not. It's not my style. I don't like it. I'm not gonna wear it. I mean, why is this man trying so hard to marry this lion-looking woman in the first place? You shouldn't have to put yourself so low where you have to beg someone sense. to say yes to you. Imagine the rest of the marriage. If she's not appreciating this, bro, run. That is your cue to leave. Was there anybody in the line you were smoking with? Type shit, or it was like, yeah, you no. walked straight in. Did you feel like a vibe? Yeah, no. Like I mean, like a vibe from somebody you was fucking with. Oh, type shit here. Type yeah. shit. Say, walk down, because you do got one balloon left. Come on. I mean, it's really two. But... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What's that? What's that? What just happened? I don't even know what to say at this point. I don't, I don't even know what to say. You're going to jail, bitch! Now, all I'm saying is, what happens if that didn't work out? You're just gonna catch a case? Were you really betting your entire life on this? I would never do this, I'm sorry. Girls can say that this is attractive, but what about the ones that aren't attracted to you? Yeah, save yourself a case, guys. Does size matter in a guy? Yes, it does. Okay, so we're gonna measure your waist right quick. 30 inch waist? I don't know what that means. It means you're too big to say that size matters. Ah. Ah. Hey, hey. That was so 
<laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't think it's a Riz thing. I just think this guy is really stupid to approach a woman by an ATM machine. A place where she cares about her privacy and her money is where you decide to approach her. Yeah, I know, man. I bag with me to go surprise my ex-boyfriend in New York City for uh -huh. his birthday. My ex-boyfriend and I used to see each other weekly, but now that I moved, I don't get to see him often, so this is a really big deal. He's had this shit play with all of our friends for a while now, but last minute, my husband and I decided to go surprise oh. him. Even though he's my ex-boyfriend, he is still my best friend in the entire world, and we stayed so, so close. So I am so excited to surprise him and see the look on his face and spend four days with him in what New York here? City. I'm also so excited that my husband gets to come with me because him and my ex-boyfriend have gotten so close over the years. Plus, my husband's ex-girlfriend is actually going to be there too. At first, I didn't really want her to come, but then I realized that if she comes, then her and my husband will hang out more and I get to spend more time with my ex-boyfriend. So, you know, it's a win-win for everybody. Now that the bags are all packed, we're putting the kids down to sleep tonight and then we are headed off to the airport. I can't wait to see him. This is going to be so much fun. Every single person in this relationship is a completely oh, horrible God. human being. The ex, her, her husband, and her husband's ex. All strange and weird and they shouldn't be married the moment you are married or the moment you're in a relationship with someone your exes and your people in your past should be completely cut off no contact at all off social media and off everything yeah. call me insecure all you want under equality until it time it's time to shovel the snow Shut up! No guys love to be the new bitches and they don't want to chase, but you have to chase. Don't mind chase you? Uh, I don't really answer DMs. I don't give them the chance. Okay, but you want them to chase you, but you're not going to answer them. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. One day I will. One day you will? Yeah, okay. when you're deserving. I completely doubt any man is really DMing her or chasing her, but regardless, if a girl says this kind of response, she doesn't care about a relationship, she just wants extra validation for herself. That is all. Chasing a woman never works. You're just boosting their ego just for them to say no to you. Are you married? Yes. Who are you married to? My wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the? What the? Talk about ultimate disrespect on your wedding day. This isn't something funny, guys. This is just how you know the woman doesn't respect him at all. Let's take a brief moment to just appreciate this for what it really is, shall we? He's willing to spend his own hard-earned money to fly her out to see him. But no, in this case, it seems that someone is wanting to put their full audacity on display on the internet for everyone to see by complaining about the airline that was chosen because somehow that airline wasn't up to their high standards. Now this is a level of entitlement I don't understand with women instead of you being appreciative that there's actually a man out there willing to spend money to fly you out. You care about the stupid airline. Do you want first class or something? Like come on. I ended up losing the man that I was supposed to marry because I was too hot in the ass. I was thinking I was the and had options and I did but they wasn't good for options I ended up losing a man that I would call three o'clock in the morning because I wanted to cuddle and this man was coming town to see me you know what I mean three o'clock in the morning what man you know doing that I had a man that knew me and my son was in the house hot as f he went out of his way and spent three hundred dollars on getting me and my baby a air conditioner to put in our house and I decided to go seek you know other options because I thought they was better and you know at the time dealing with it and being in the midst of it it might have seemed like it was better you know it might have seemed like yeah this is a lot better but you know after it's all said and done that sh wasn't better you know why because that man that I was supposed to marry wouldn't have had me dealing with my pregnancy alone he wouldn't have left me out to go to every single appointment by myself he would have made a way now, a lot of people in the comments were saying wow she's actually taking accountability props for her she's actually learning in my opinion guys i don't feel bad for her at all and some women really do need to learn the hard way this woman said it herself she left that great man just because she was getting validation elsewhere probably social media however they don't realize that the people on social media never want to marry you date you see a future potential with you they just want to get some quick action and you fell for it you're an idiot That's i'm not going to be easy with her on the situation because like i said they need to learn the hard way and she's only sorry all because those other options didn't work out not because she actually misses him guys
Yeah, this dude needs to run. I've never seen a woman actually act like this to her boyfriend in public anywhere. Even behind the scenes, if a woman screams like this to me in the house with nobody watching, I'm leaving the relationship. This is psychotic. She doesn't respect him at all. And this poor dude is actually taking all of it. I would have gotten up and left. And that's exactly what he should have done. This relationship is not going to last. I could put my entire life on it. And in my opinion, behind the scenes, she probably hits him. If she's willing to scream like this in front of everyone, I can almost guarantee she definitely does. But that's just my opinion, guys. You guys can take it or leave it because that does wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. You know, this last guy, like my heart, my heart literally goes out to that guy. If she's willing, willing to do that in public, then imagine what she's doing behind the scene. Look at the, look at the guy's um, uh, countenance. It's obvious it's not the first time that thing is happening. And he's he's even calling. Oh my god. People are suffering. No? Forget how some persons will come on social media and perform for us. You don't know what they're going through behind the scene. But I don't know why people don't know how to go where they are needed, where they are respected, where they are loved. I know it might be hard for some people, but oh my god. That was quite disturbing to watch. That other woman was saying that she lost a good man. Oh no, God saved his son from you. Because God already saw the future that this one, you don't even appreciate him. You don't even regard him as a human being. So you will not appreciate him as a husband. So God, God, you know, took him where he would be appreciated and took you where you needed to be to learn your lessons. Some people just love to learn the hard way. Life is easy. We are the ones that complicate it so much. It's easy. Like, live and let's live. It's that simple. Yeah. Please, go where you are appreciated. Where you are respected and loved. Don't sweat it. Bye, guys. Like and subscribe.